the latest episode of Andor is peppered with Easter eggs. So let's chat. In the Oompa Loompa style factory, we see someone from Rogue One. We get the first meeting between Andor and Melshi. Melshi, if you didn't know, will go on to be a member of the Rebellion and help Jin Erso escape in Rogue One itself. Hey, do you think we will actually see them build K2SO? Probably not, but it'd be cool. We also get a really, really shocking cameo from Andy Serkis as the floor leader who helped bring Snoke to the screen in the Rise of Skywalker trilogy. Yes, he was also Gollum and lots of other things, and he's really cool. We also got to meet Saw Gerrera. Now, we saw him die in Rogue One and was featured in the game Fallen Order and the Clone Wars cartoon and is an absolutely fan favourite. I loved how Luthen tried to get him to help, but Saw refused to work with Separatists and anyone he doesn't deem fit with his ideals. Go and watch the Clone Wars and Rebels. His arc is just stunning. Give me a Saw show already. Well, not an Easter egg specifically, the Pord Act reminded me heavily of the Patriot Act. Introduced after 9-11, the Patriot Act allowed far-reaching and admittedly very intrusive surveillance under the premise that it is here to protect us. Aldani appears to be the Empire's 9-11. Wait, what does that make the Death Star? Anyway, let me know if you spotted any cool details and I might make a part two.